Hey, good morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Yeah, guess what? We have more snow coming. I thought I'd hear my wife moan or. Yeah, there it was. Everybody's probably moaning about that. More snow. It's a stretched out kind of thing. It's not a big snowstorm all at once, but it's uh, Monday night, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday spurts of snow type thing. So. Let's get to it. Hey, good morning, David Rose. We still have ice on Duck Lake, but let's get out there and catch some uh, lake trout this summer, please. And good morning, Kyle Matson and Kyle McCarty. Uh, here's current radar, and this is the storm system that we'll be watching the first piece of it. I'll show you more of that uh, coming up in just a moment. And out here, this is kind of the pattern that I would expect us to see. See how there's areas of precipitation and that's what I think we'll be seeing over the next three days is off and on precipitation. Not today. Today is dry. Today you have good traveling conditions. Yeah, Jessica, snow. So here are today's high temperatures and it's uh, cool but not bad. High temperatures, Grand Rapids 39, Kalamazoo 39, Lansing 37, same for Flint, uh, Detroit area 34, 35, 36, Ann Arbor, around the Tri-City, Saginaw Bay City Midland, 33 to 36, 40 along the western shoreline up to Traverse City, upper 20s, Sunrise Side, upper 20s in the UP. So it's cool, but not too bad. Now here's what's going to happen over the next few days. And... This is this evening's surface weather forecast. So here's the snow and rain back to the west. So again, we are all dry across all of Michigan today. This is 1 a.m. and 7 a.m. tomorrow. So overnight, we'll see snow developing once again. Okay, and this isn't a real robust system. What we're seeing is it's a slow mover. It's going to churn it through. I'll show that to you. And then it hits the East Coast and bombs out again later in the week. Before Friday snow, I'm predicting seven more snow events. Eh, that, might, that might not be too far off. Seven might be a little strong. I would say maybe about four to five more. This is during the day tomorrow. So this is some snow, and then this is tomorrow evening. Here's the unorganized low-pressure center. Mild air sneaks into the southwest, could change it to some rain in the afternoon tomorrow. And we do have to bear in mind that, it's, that it is March, so the sun has power. And when we get to 35, 36, it might be cold enough aloft at times for snow, and then at times it might switch to a light rain, or it might be snow that kind of acts like rain. All right, so we're, we're on the downside of winter. This is Wednesday morning, low pressure center here, and again, the areas of precipitation rotating around. And here's that storm center, and like I said, jumps to the east coast like many of them have been doing, and then it will uh, move on to the east. And the northwesterly flow continues. I'm getting to the amounts of snow here in just a moment. This is Thursday. This model, the American model, wants to develop a secondary low off of Lake Huron and bring rotation and snow showers down. So that's why I say it looks like Monday night through Thursday, we will have off and on snow showers. All right, everybody wants to know how much, and I think this is the way to look at it, okay? We're gonna have to move it through step by step. This is by tomorrow morning, one to two inches. So there could be a little slick commute tomorrow morning. And then we go through to Wednesday morning, and another couple of inches. And then we go through to Thursday and another inch or two. So basically when you see something like four inches, that's three one to two inch snows 
One tomorrow night, Tuesday, another one Wednesday, another one Thursday. So it looks like, you know, a lot for March, but again, it's kind of stretched out over a 72-hour period. There you have it. Dry day today, and on the cool side, take the jacket with you. Then we get into the off and on snow, extended time period, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, spurts, maybe a third of the day has snow falling, and maybe half of that snow is kind of acting like uh, wet snow or almost like rain. All right, so there you go. I'll keep you updated on that. You have yourself a great Monday. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. I'm going to sign off. You take care, friends.